For Charlotte Mecklenburg schools making the grade. District leaders released its report card this afternoon showing some gains. Queen City News reporter Casey Jones is live from Renaissance West Steam Academy. And Casey, despite those gains, you learned there are still some areas that need improvement. That's right. District leaders pointed out two challenges that they're facing. One is the obvious, the pandemic. You know, students had to go into remote learning and that um, kind of delayed some academic growth for some students. On top of that, they say the state changed its standards for academic growth. And then here locally, we know that the district has had a lot of turnover when it comes to leadership. But this is Dr. Crystal Hill's first year as a full superintendent. She says they're ironing out issues and they're honing in on growth. In a 112-page presentation, Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools showed the district's report card. 16 schools were removed from the state's low-performance list. Renaissance West Steam Academy is one of the district's bright spots. The school was on the F list for six years, now ranked 29th statewide for academic growth. We coach everyone, so you can be a first-year teacher or you can be 30 years in. Everyone is going to be coached, and we have this football approach um, that we coach live and we improve practice um, in the moment on a daily basis. Data shows 47% of third through eighth graders demonstrated proficiency in reading, a 2% increase from the previous year. 53% demonstrated proficiency in math, a 3% increase. When it comes to 5th and 8th grade science, 64% are proficient, a 1% decrease from the previous year. CMS is also dealing with hundreds of teacher vacancies, using substitute teachers to fill in the gaps. We had them come in, they were compensated for that time, and they received the same level of training and support that a typical beginning teacher would have, and that support is ongoing um, throughout the year. Achievement gaps grew between racial groups, learning disabilities, and socioeconomic conditions. My answer would be that this is not good enough, which is what I've said before. Um, we, it, it will take a collective effort for us to move the needle, to raise the bar. We are all committed. Hill says the district is focused on professional development for staff, monitoring student progress, and social emotional support. If we can do this in unstable conditions, knowing that we are stabilized, we are going to blow it out of the park next year. And you could bet the farm on that. District leaders are also focused on attendance. Attendance rates are better than they were last year, but still not up to district leader standards. So what's happening to fix it? There are teams of people, including here at Renaissance STEAM, that actually go out and find the kids and try to understand why they're not coming to class. Reporting live from West Charlotte, Casey Jones, Queen City News.